You are able to engrave curved surfaces with the Extol P2 laser. In this video, I am going to teach you how to do just that with the Extol Creative Space software. This is going to be a short, simple, to the point tutorial, so hang out with me. For our first project, we are going to engrave the inside of this large spoon. Now, as we open Xtool's Creative Space software, we can see that the P2 has taken a snapshot of the spoon on the base plate. Now, let's select the curve process feature on the right side. What we want to do is to measure this, so I am going to go over to Curved Measure. Now, as you see right here, it says move the laser module to make the red dot fall at the upper left vertex. So, I am going to put at my engraving area, vertex one, which is at the top left of the spoon and at the bottom right. So this is set at 100 millimeters and watch what happens when I hit right on this. The laser dot moves and this is moving at 100 millimeters every time I hit left or right, up or down. So I am going to change this to 10. And what I wanna do is to set the vertex mark one. So, and if I go outside my boundary here, I know that creative space is not going to pick that up, but I'm going to do it to show you guys. So I want it at the shoulder of that spoon. I'm going to mark it there. Okay, now I'm going to go down to this side right here. Let's see here where I want it. Let's go over to the right just a little bit and down just like this. And I am going to hit mark. I got both areas marked there and I'm going to hit next and I'm gonna start measuring. Now this is going to measure all the spots with the laser dot going left and right, left and right. This process does take time, and you can see that I have the measurement failed. Please try again. I did this on purpose because, you know, when I set the laser dot right here on the outside of the spoon, well, it's, it's trying to pick up the area. And so the proper way to do this and I'm gonna show you two methods here. I am going to set this dot again, and I'm actually going to put it on the spoon. And just hang with me, guys. Don't let this confuse you. Okay, now if you look on my camera, you can see that the bottom shoulder of that spoon has the laser dot on that. I'm going to mark that point one. Now, as I go down, I am going to move this laser along by clicking the arrows. Let's let this be the mark right there. I'm gonna mark this point two. Now let's measure this again and see what happens. Okay, now here is our 3D model. I can click it to 2D. I can go to the 3D view where we were just at and the no grid. Let me show you something. You see the red areas? This means that it exceeds the processing range. So anything greater than 45 degrees, the P2 will not be able to laser engrave according to Extol. Another thing to note here, this did cut off the sides of the spoon. I did this intentionally because if I put my vertex mark one all the way up here, the laser dot would fall off the side of the spoon. So I had to make this engraving area a little smaller. Also on the side, we have the smoothness and the tension. This will help the software to better, I, I guess you could say accurately representate the model a little bit better. You can play around with these settings, but I'm just going to leave this on the stock settings for now. Let's import our image. Now that we imported our image, we are going to scale this down to size. And you see the little green box right here, that is the engraving area. And you may say, Matt, this is hanging off the sides. And I know, but you gotta realize that the cameras right here are not giving you an accurate representation. So I am going to do the capture close view. And let's just, let's see where this falls right here. The camera is going to move and take a picture. And as we zoom in, this is going to give this a better representation, okay? And so we are going to get right here and let's just line everything up. And if this is, exceeds the engraving area, watch this. It's not gonna do anything. It's just going to be a white screen. And keep in mind, this is beta software. Xtol may change some stuff up with the camera system in this at a later time. But I am going to zoom in and this close view function is nice. I can really see what I am doing. 
Okay, that is looking pretty good. And the size of this spoon is really high, guys. So this is actually exceeding the 45 degree mark right here. So now we are going to engrave and I am going to put the power about, let's put it at 30. Actually, that may be a little too much. I'm just gonna do 25 and I'm just shooting in the dark here for this test. Extool does recommend engraving curved surfaces at lower speeds, I think around 50. So we are going to leave that around there. Okay, let's hit process and hit the start button. I nailed this engraving on the first try. If you are confused about the vertex points, just wait till this next project coming up and I will explain it in greater detail. I'm just going to speed through this because I think we get the idea of what we are trying to achieve here. Okay, this took right at nine minutes. Okay, let's look and wow. Heck yeah. Now we can actually clean the inside of that up a little bit. Yeah, we're just gonna wipe the soot off the lettering. Let's put some wood conditioner on this. This is looking pretty good, but I definitely need more oil. Now let me show you this. Now catch what I am saying here. You remember when we put this design on and how the green box was right here? That's because my laser dot did not measure the top of this. It only measured from here to here and then from here to here. So these sides were left unmeasured, but they exceed 45 degrees. So we would not have been able to engrave that. But let me show you a secret because I was not able to scan the top of this. So I cut out some cardboard here. And what I'm going to do is just stick the spoon inside the cardboard. If I were to take my time with this and be meticulous with cutting out the cardboard, I could have made this work. So I could put my scanning point right here and go all the way to up here and got equal measuring points that way the whole spoon would have gotten measured. But check out Buster Beagle's video on this. He explains that in greater detail. Okay, now let's try this huge sucker. We have the bowl inside, so like I showed you before, we are going to go to curve process, and we are a little outside of the camera view, so I'm going to move this over just a hair. And I just moved it over, I'm gonna hit refresh, and there we go. We are a little sideways, but that is all right. I'm gonna put one point right here, and the other point right here. Since this has a lot more measuring points, this is going to take a little bit longer. Okay guys, look here. We got everything marked, and this side is saying it's out of the processing range because it is simply too high. So our design needs to go right up under that. So we are going to test this out. I forgot to show you guys this. So we will just put this flower here and let me click over here and go to zoom out and go to the map right here. And look, it shows our image inside there and what it looks like. So this is kind of handy. You can see where this will be engraving at. Okay, we have our design laid out here. If I go to this mode and I zoom out, I can see some of the red and some of my flowers are shown to be in the red. So we will see what happens here. So I am having some problems with these lines right here showing up. So this is a glitch inside of Creative Space since it is the pre-release and beta software. We are going to try a few more images. I had to stop the engraving. It is worth mentioning that I am using the riser bed accessory with the P2 and I set the base plate on the second level. This is just giving me more depth to work with. So if you get this P2 laser, I definitely recommend getting the riser base. I will have all of those links below for you to check out.
Okay, this turned out extremely well, and I will tell you right now, the sides of this bowl exceed 45 degrees. So, uh, yeah, and it's still engraved on there. Super happy with this. This file worked much better than this file over here that had some weird lines in the design, but overall, this did a fantastic job. I'm really impressed with this. I know many of you are probably wondering, can this do a curved surface engraving over a tumbler? I'm gonna take my test tumbler here and we are going to try this. For the first dot, I'm not sure where to put it. I'm gonna put it pretty far on the side because I really want to test this. So we are going to make our design a little bit smaller and you can see this is kind of hanging off and this can be misleading, so let's always do the close view option. So as we take a screenshot there, we are going to zoom in. Let's see what happens. So that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna take this to about 35 power here and I think that is going to work. I messed up this engraving two different times because I did not measure the highest point of the cylinder. So lesson learned. Now on this third round right here, I finally nailed it and we just did a font here because my PNG image was messing up again. So this turned out really nice. Okay, there we go. Yes, that is working great. Look how far it got on the side of the engraving. My other PNG files had some problems with them and I did not measure from the right place, but, and looky there, yes, this is turning out fantastic. I am fully convinced that you can do a tumbler just laying flat like this. Now let's try a slanted engraving. Cool, okay, that completed with no problem. I think every test that we did today turned out really well. We did a cylinder, we did the slanted engraving, we did the different curved surfaces. In some areas, the curved surfaces even exceeded 45 degrees and the laser still handled it. So overall, I am really pleased with what I am seeing here. The only problem that I am having right now with the curved surface engraving are the PNG images when I import them. Then again, I am on the beta software. This is pre-release and not final yet. It's probably a simple fix. But other than that, every one of these projects turned out really good. I hope this tutorial inspired you and better yet, gave you a better understanding on how to engrave with curved surfaces. If you are looking for a CO2 laser, I highly recommend the Xtool P2. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an, an affiliate with them, even if I was unaffiliated, I would still recommend this and buy it. I have been using it for so many projects and it has been knocking them out of the park. So, and I wouldn't recommend anything to you that I am not currently using. So you can find links to this machine in the comments and description below, as well as any current promo codes that could save you a little bit of money, depending on the time that you are watching this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and I will see you guys later.